During the time of Pisces, the sun is sort of in its last kind of incubation stage or hibernation stage, actually, before it comes out and really brings us spring because the next time the sun changes signs will be in March when we have the vernal equinox at the beginning of spring. That means that this month is really, really crucial for us to go inside ourselves and deal with our true agenda. What is it that we really want to push forward when we get a little bit more energy coming out of, through our bodies in the springtime? And our minds as well, of course. There's a psychic energy that takes hold around this time where people feel more in tune with intuition and they make decisions based on intuition a lot more than they do on the rational mind. I would say, therefore, if you're going to buy something that has to do with a lot of facts and figures or is a huge purchase, try to wait until the sun goes into Aries. But you can certainly get your intuitions now. And if you're a really brave soul and you can spare whatever you are investing, then perhaps you can go ahead and make some bold moves based on your intuition. It will depend largely on what's going on in your life and what your own astrology type makeup is all about. Um, there will be um, more self-indulgence in emotions as well. People will not be as ready to come out of their feelings and speak to you in a rational sense. You have to be sensitive to that. We all do. Those who have water in their charts, the people who are Pisces, who are Cancer, who are Scorpio, are very used to this. And they also will tend to fall into it a little bit more than the rest of the world. But um, those of you who were not one of those three water signs, and you're either a fire, earth, or air sign, you will notice how difficult it is to get people to come out of their emotional way of looking at something. So consider that when you're communicating on your personal and professional levels. There will also be a little bit of restlessness at this time. It's, it's the moment when you put that winter coat on and you say to yourself, oh, how many times more am I going to have to do this? And of course, if you're in the southern hemisphere, you're changing seasons in a different way. But the, the point is, whatever it is that we're doing, we're sick of doing it and we want to move on to the next thing. Cherish this time. Really take this time to say to yourself, this is the last of it. I'm almost done with this period that I thought would never end because it was driving me insane. And it won't feel quite so burdensome. The last 10 days of Pisces, like from March 10th, 11th to March 20th, 21st, um, this is a very powerful time. This is when the, the, that part of Pisces is sort of co-ruled by Mars. And that's when Mars is sort of waking the sun up and bringing it into Aries. So use that time to really get your projects moving forward. And then, of course, there's uh, the rest of it, though, is there's like a lack of a sense of, of power or empowerment and a way of people thinking about what's good for everyone rather than just what's good for oneself. So think about all those things while the sun is in Pisces in general. Specifically, here are some dates to keep in mind and some connections that the sun will make with various planets. On the 19th, the sun will enter Pisces and whack right into Neptune. This is new because Neptune is newly in that sign. And um, because of that, people will be a little bit less able to see things clearly. And dogs will bark. Anyway, um... On the 28th of February, we will have the sun in a sextile to Pluto, allowing us to draw on our personal power and perhaps enabling that psychic sense to come out a little bit more. The sun will oppose that retrograde Mars in Virgo on March the 3rd, and this is going to make things a little bit difficult with interpersonal relationships. It'll be a battle of perfection versus vision. So we'll be talking more about that, certainly in the daily horoscopes, if not even about in some other things. And the full moon that takes place on March 8th is when the sun is opposite the moon in Virgo. So more of the same, a culmination of any kind of situation that's of that nature. And um, then I just want to mention that on March 13th, we will have a Jupiter trying Pluto moment again, where those two planets align and make everybody very hopeful and very overconfident. So that's going to be going on that last week. And then the sun will enter Aries on March 20th. So if you're a Pisces, happy birthday. And if you would like to know what your year is going to be like, what you're like as a person, or if you have some specific questions for me, consider doing a personal video reading. Just click on that tab 
on the readthestars.com site and you'll see what I mean. Meanwhile, if you would just like to email me and ask me a quick question, you can do so at Judy, J-U-D-I, at readthestars.com.